Today we're going to share with you one of our favorite rainy day activities. We're going to be showing you how to make some Play-Doh. And this is our favorite Play-Doh recipe. It's really easy to make and it smells really good. And we're going to start by adding one cup of flour. And you add that to a medium saucepan because you're going to cook all of this on the stove. Then we're going to add a quarter cup of salt, two tablespoons of cream of tartar. Can you get that? Now the cream of tartar is sometimes hard to find, but I usually can find it without a problem at Walmart or Target or your local grocery store just in your spice section. Okay. Then we need to add a tablespoon of vegetable oil. to add a packet of Kool-Aid. You can add sugar-free Kool-Aid or the regular Kool-Aid and it will work fine either way. This is going to give your um, Play-Doh a really good smell and it's also going to color it so you don't have to worry about food coloring. And you just pour that right into your pan. And then you're going to add a cup of water. Okay, and then you're just going to stir that all together and you'll notice that it's turning red and so you'll have a nice red play-doh and because we don't have the magic of television I'm going to cook this on the stove and we cook it on a medium to medium high heat for three to five minutes until it, it forms a ball and it will start to peel off the, the play-doh on the edges of the pan and it will start to look like play-doh and so you'll recognize when it's ready to remove from the stove then I'll come back and, and um, show you the finished product. Okay, so now we're done cooking it, and you can see that it's turned into a nice ball, and the edges of the pan have, as you roll it around in the pan and stir it, it peels off from the side. So this is what you'll want it to look like when you're finished, okay? It is pretty warm, so be careful to help. So you want to let it cool just a little bit. Um, I mean, I can touch it and knead it, but it's still pretty hot, but you can let it cool for a little bit till it's warm, and then all you do is knead it, and you have your Play-Doh. And it's as easy as that. You can make it in any color, any flavor of Kool-Aid that you want. Um, you can make it up without Kool-Aid if you don't have Kool-Aid at home, and then just add food coloring. But we like to use the Kool-Aid because then it gives it a, a fun smell. Thanks.